Hi everyone, my name is Jamie. I'm a fourth year. This is... Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm a second year. And this week's episode is going to be on anominates, basically. So we're going to start off talking about how to diagnose the anominates, and we're also going to go over the types of dysfunctions that you can have. And then a little bit later on, Ricky Barnum is going to show you how to actually do some of the techniques. All right? So, first thing I want to go through is uh, different types of diagnostic testing with you. So we have a standing flexion test, right? And that's basically to tell us if there's any anominate dysfunctions. Okay, so we're going to have Kathy turn to her left that way. All right, and you always want to be on eye level with whatever you're trying to judge, okay? So I'm going to find her hips first, the tops of her anominates. I'm going to drop down to find her PSISs. Okay, and once I'm there, I'm going to have her bent forward at the waist. And I'm going to try to see which thumb moves up fastest and farthest. So on her, her left, my left thumb moves up. All right, you can stand back up. All right, so that tells me there's probably something wrong with her left anominate. Okay, there's other things we can do to check. So now I'm going to have her come over onto the table for an ASIS compression test. All right, so the next test we're going to do is the ASIS compression test. And basically what we want to do, well, that's going to tell us what side is dysfunctional of the hips, okay? So this being her left side, this being her right side, all right? I'm going to find her ASISs, and I'm going to come right underneath the ASISs. You find a shelf, and I push up, okay? Those are her ASISs. I'm going to put the palms of my hands on either side, all right? And I'm going to apply a downwards pressure, alternating from side to side. Now, it's not like this kind of motion. It's you're testing the rotation of the hips. So down, down this and you want to see which side rotates better so on her I can feel that her right side's a little bit more restricted okay All right, so that's ASIS compression test now the next thing I want to do is check ASIS heights her PSIS heights which are on the back and her leg length down at the bottom okay so I'm gonna start off by checking her ASIS heights again finding the SIS's I'm going to the bottoms of them okay so it looks like to me, her right ASIS, if you can see that there, is a little bit lower than her left ASIS. Okay. So then now we're going to move on to the feet. Right? So I'm going to go to her medial malleoli, here and here. Okay. And I'm going to go right below them. Actually, what I should have done first is have her reset. So I'm going to show you how, how to reset. Right? So bend your legs up. Lift your hips up, put them down, and stretch out your legs. Okay. So I should have done that before I measured the ASIS heights, but I'm just letting you know now. Right. So now I'm going to measure her medial malleoli. Right. And I can see that her right leg is also a little bit lower than her left leg. If you're looking at my thumb position. Okay. So that would be to measure those landmarks. Now I'm going to ask her to flip over. So Kathy, can you flip over for me, please? Right, I'm just going to lift this up a little, okay? Yep. Yeah. Right, so now I'm going to find her PSISs, her posterior superior iliac spine. If you could just take like a little bit of work out before this, so they're here and here. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to measure PSIS heights. Now I have to keep in mind that the left side was her, I'm sorry, her right side was her dysfunctional side on the other side, right? So measure it, and her right PSIS is higher than her left PSIS, okay? So those are how we measure all the different landmarks of the uh, innominates. So In the next part of the video, I'm going to talk about what all those landmarks mean and how you can form these diagnoses. Oh.